the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. From the 10. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. Pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two. He's not locking in on just one target early, is he? Spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started. Back-to-back -back first downs. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 32-yard line. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Right back to Sanders on first down. Tackle by A.J. Epinesa. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing his hurts. Over the middle complete. It's Sanders. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down. And this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Yeah. 
They'll run with Sanders. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Once again with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. Alert. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's the first carry of the game for Zach Moss. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Allen gonna fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage, that's it. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. this time down he goes so after the sack they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. on 
play action. Allen. And Diggs has it. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run on first down with Moss. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now they run the sweep as Allen just pops this forward. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. to Singletary. He's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down, and the Eagles defense able to hold. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. That's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, it's Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And they're going to face a third down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Hurt sets up to throw it. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. Finding room at midfield. Loose inside the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins. 80 
72 yards. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Elliott on for the extra point. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright. And it's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll just burrow his way back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in there by Crowder. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Allen's throw complete here, pulled in by Howard. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. The kick by Bass is good. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still a very rare find again. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further, and you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar. offense set to begin their next drive and with a two score lead already they may just look to get this thing to the locker room a run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards so make it second and five now a timeout taken perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry we'll see The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds from... quarter on first and ten it's Sanders and he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32 so two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that, we get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock 
for the third quarter. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. ready to go for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. That's caught by Howard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And fortunately, the Bills jump on it and get it back. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Allen off the play fake. Sliding out of the pocket. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when they set it up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Five by, five by, five by. Singletary here running out of the gun and across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. It's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off a of place like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps him advancing the ball. The last run got six. Now second and four. Draw play as Allen gives it to Moss. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He's got to hook up with Diggs. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs him. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. 
picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game on, might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. Hurry, hurry. They'll set up a throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bears touchdown. Well, here in this third quarter, the whole complexion of the ball game flips on a dime there, CD. This is back to a one-score game. And sometimes when your offense is smaller, a defensive unit have to take it upon yourself to say we've got to go out there maybe take a few chances along the way and see if we can generate some points ourselves and lo and behold they were able to deliver so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six and now the kick is away this is taken just shy of the 10. Offense set to begin their next drive. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Ready. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. It's a handoff to Sanders, and he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run, the best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he stopped immediately there. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. And a penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. And they 
They still need six yards here on third down after the penalty. Now back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, it's... from him. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll go again with Sanders. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning. And we'll be back. play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end Goddard. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Tampa made there by Matt Milano. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bears are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game in the fourth. All you talked about is taking care of the football, especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. And he finds Howard complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the three. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Halfway there, down to the one-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second and goal from the one. They'll run for it with Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two, now third down. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. For the lead, here's third and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. 
Taken from about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10. They'll look to throw. Finding Pascal. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. back to throw he's gonna let it fly this is caught inside the 15 he takes it across for the touchdown and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth wow wow cd that was an all or nothing drive to win this football game and they rose to the occasion to take the lead here in the waning moments and how about how they got it done? No timeouts left. They take it downfield, execute perfectly, and get it done. Now they don't leave their opponent with a heck of a lot of time on the clock. Elliott good on the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. ready to go for their next drive. Well, this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched in nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around.
Well, partner, this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball.